Okay, so how well do you actually understand basic math? Well, if you have pretty strong basic math skills, this should be a very easy problem to solve without the aid of a calculator. All right, so this is a multiple choice question, and the actual question is which is correct? So one of these is the right answer to this problem. And the problem is 4 plus 3 in parentheses times 2 minus 10 divided by 2. All right, so our answer selections uh, are A, negative 28, B, negative 3, C, 1, and D is 9. All right, so one more time, no calculators. But if you could figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'll walk through exactly how to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so let's gonna take one more look at the problem before I show you the right answer. It seems like a very simple problem, but a lot of you are going to be surprised that you're going to get this wrong. Let's go to take a look at the actual answer. The correct answer is D9. All right, now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and a certificate of excellence for being a certified professional expert in the area of the order of operations. Because if you got this problem wrong, it's probably because you did this problem in the wrong order. So what am I talking about? Well, in mathematics, things like addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication, these are what we call mathematical operators. So depending on the order you did this problem, in other words, if you started here would be with subtraction, and then you went to maybe division and then addition, uh, you know, you're going to come up with different answers, right? And of course, there's only one right answer, and that right answer is dependent upon taking the right steps. All right, now this is not that difficult to understand, but it is, but it is a very common uh, place of confusion for those of you out there that are studying basic math. But let's go and get into it right now. And uh, what we need to understand is an acronym. I'll show you that here in just one second. But let's talk about how someone could do this problem incorrectly. So let's say someone's uh, looking at this problem. Now, of course, we know the correct answer is uh, D, 9. But let's say uh, you're looking at this problem. You're like, yeah, all right, I know how to add, subtract, divide, Mr. YouTube Math Man. I could do this problem. And I'm like, all right, fine, let's go ahead and get into it. So maybe someone decides they want to start right here, 2 minus 10. And uh, they go, you know what? I know what 2 minus 10 is. 2 minus 10 is the same thing as 2 plus negative 10. This is negative 8. Okay, so maybe they want to start right there. So now we have negative 8 divided by 2. Matter of fact, uh, the entire problem would be 4 plus 3 uh, times negative 8 divided by 2. And so they go, well, maybe I want to do this next. Maybe I want to do the division. So negative 8 divided by a positive 2 is negative 4. And then 4 plus 3 is 7. So 7 times negative 4 is negative 28. Look, I see my answer. I'm going to ace this little math quiz. Well, unfortunately, you're going to get it wrong. Okay, now why is that? Well, because uh, taking this step right here is the wrong first step. Okay, this is the uh, in doing the problem in the incorrect order. All right, so doing uh, basic math problems that involve various uh, mathematical operations. To get these things right, you have to know the correct order of operations. All right, let's go ahead and get into this right now. And what you need to understand is this lovely acronym right here. All right, so this stands for something. Uh, these uh, uh, letters here, i.e. an acronym. This is effectively a checklist that goes from left to right. Now, before I explain what these letters mean, let me give you a, a little mnemonic, a little memory aid here to remember PEMDAS. Okay, so that is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Once again, please excuse my dear, my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, this phrase has been around forever. And if you haven't heard of this phrase, well, now you have. And uh, we thank Aunt Sally for her cool little phrase. I'm not sure what she did, but she's definitely helping us, helping us out in math because this is going to be the secret to getting the right answer. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get into this right now. 
So uh, again, this is a checklist that we're going to follow from left to right. So P stands for parentheses. So if we have any parentheses in our problem, and our problem actually has parentheses, well, that's where you have to start. But it's not only these type of parentheses, it's these type of brackets like this or these squiggly brackets. And sometimes in math, you have questions where you have uh, parentheses inside of brackets, inside of other little squiggly brackets. So what do we do there? Well, you always start from the innermost parentheses. So you start there, do that, and just kind of keep uh, working. You're kind of expanding outwards, okay? Now, this isn't a full lesson on the order of operations, but I want to give you enough to walk away from this little video uh, feeling pretty good about your ability to do these type of prompts. All right, so that's what uh, P stands for, parentheses. So again, if there's anything on this list from left to right, in our problem, that's what we're gonna do first. All right, so E, basically you wanna think of E as powers, okay? Now, some of you might be saying, well, why isn't, uh, if you're talking about powers, why isn't the acronym another P? Well, that would be confusing because someone might think, well, we have to do parentheses again. So E is powers, you wanna think of it as powers. When you have a power like this, two to the third power, this little number up in the top right is called the exponent. This bottom number down here is called the base. The entire thing is a power. So E really stands for exponents, but you can just think of this as powers. All right, so now I'm gonna to come to the great part of this video. And uh, before you leave the video, if you're like, well, I think I'm just gonna check out of this video, don't leave yet, don't leave the video yet. Hopefully you stay around to the entire end because I'm gonna give you one of the most common areas of confusion in basic math, okay? This causes so many heartaches, uh, but let me go ahead and first tell you what the rest of these letters stand for. All right, so M, D, A, and S. M stands for multiplication, D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Now, if this is a checklist from uh, left to right, uh, you know, you might be saying, well, okay, Mr. YouTube Math Man, we have to do all the multiplication uh, in the entire problem. After that's done, then we're gonna move on to all the division. If we have any multiplication or division, we're gonna do it strictly in this order, and then we'll do addition and subtraction the same way. Well, that's not the way it works. Now, a lot of you might be saying, uh, you know, this is why I don't like math, Mr. YouTube Math Man. You know, uh, you give me a checklist from left to right, and now you're telling me, I, you know, it's not the way it works. Well, uh, it's not the way it works. It, this is not that difficult, but remember, it is a checklist from left to right, but M and D is a group, okay? It's multiplication or division. Okay, so we're gonna do parentheses powers. Then if we come across any multiplication or division, uh, we're going to do whatever we see first from left to right. In other words, if we have multiplication and then division in our problem like this, we'll do the multiplication first because that's what, we're, that's what we see from left to right. But if we have division, then multiplication from left to right, we're going to do the division first. And again, this is uh, an area that a lot of people confuse. But uh, anyways, don't feel bad about, you know, uh, you know, getting a problem wrong, okay? The whole idea is to learn something and practice so you can understand this basic math skill. And addition and subtraction right here work the same way. It's whatever you see first uh, from left to right. All right, so now that we have an understanding of the uh, order of operations and PEMDAS, let's go ahead and apply this knowledge to figure out the answer. Okay, so here is our problem and effectively you just want to be thinking about this acronym and uh, you know, just going to use this, at, use this as a checklist. So we're going to start with P and ask ourselves, hey, do we have any parentheses? Indeed we do, right here. Okay, so we have parentheses and then we have to go inside of the parentheses. So it's effectively, if uh, the parentheses is basically saying, hey, go inside of those parentheses and do whatever math you got to do right here until you can't do anything uh, you know, you're down to basically one number, okay? Once there's nothing more to do, then you can continue on with the checklist. So here, we're gonna have to deal with four plus three, which of course, uh, most of you out there are saying, yeah, I can do that. And four plus three, of course, is seven. All right, so we're just gonna take one step at a time, all right? If you're trying to learn math, or if you um, are trying to improve your math, make sure you are neat and structured. Don't skip steps, that's the worst thing you could do. Just take a step, write one step, write another step. And if you get something wrong, you can see the step that you got wrong and you can correct it. All right, so uh, four plus three is seven. So we are finished with our parentheses. Now we do have parentheses right here, but there's nothing to do inside of those parentheses. So effectively, what we have here is seven 
times 2. When you have a number outside of a parenthesis like this, this means multiplication, just in case uh, some of you didn't know that. All right, so uh, we have 7 times 2 minus 10 divided by 2. What do we do next? Well, we should go back and kind of reference our lovely PEMDAS acronym. Now, some of you out there can just remember this in your brain, but uh, if you have to write it down, no big deal. So did we do all the parentheses? Yes. Okay, now there's nothing to do inside these parentheses. Do we have any power? So we, there's nothing to do inside these parentheses. So in other words, we can move on. All right, E is exponents. Do we have any powers here? Nope, we have no powers, nothing like this. So we can skip that. Do we have multiplication uh, or division? Yes, we do. Okay, we have division right here, and this is multiplication. So what are we going to do first? Well, what do we see? Uh, what do we see first from left to right? We see the multiplication first. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do the multiplication right now. So let's go to take that step, which of course is having you uh, take seven and multiply it by two. Okay, so 7 times 2 is what? Well, that is 14. That is not that difficult to do. I'll show you the answer to 7 times 2 and the rest of this problem here in just one second. But first, I need to show you this, which is an invitation to support this channel. Now, what is this channel about? Well, tablet class math is, all, is basically my efforts to help people learn math. There is a huge crisis. This is actually getting worse, unfortunately, of people, uh, you know, and students basically, you know, saying, I'm bad at math, you know, um, I'm not good at math. And this has been going around for, uh, been around for generations, okay? And unfortunately, a lot of students have um, either been in, you know, maybe haven't had the best teachers, not trying to knock any teachers out there, or been in bad educational situations, or for whatever reason, got it stuck in their head that they can't do math or they struggle in math. I'm telling you right now, you can be successful at math, okay? So the, the first thing you need to do, though, is change your mindset, okay? You have to change your mindset, and you got to be willing to put in the work. But what I'm trying to do on this channel is to explain things in a way that people like and understand. I like to try to break things down, uh, you know, uh, in a definitely a non-mathematical kind of sounding way, you know, in a way, explain these concepts uh, so that anyone can understand this. But if you need additional help in math, check out my full main math courses. You'll find links to those in the description of this video. For basic math, check out my math foundations or math skills rebuilder course. But again, the whole point of this channel is to really encourage people to continue on with math. Okay, math is so important. And if you uh, think you're bad at math, I'm telling you right now, and I'm not patronizing you as well. You are not. You just got to figure out, you know, where, what skills you currently have and how to start improving. Now, that's going to take time, work, and effort. I'm not that. I'm, uh, you know, I'm not going to say there's any shortcuts uh, there, but your ability to learn math is intact. All right, so let's go and finish up this problem. Not much more to do here. So we have 7 times 2, which, of course, uh, is our multiplication. Remember, we have to do multiplication before division because that's what we see first from left to right. So 7 times 2 is 14. 14 minus 10 divided by 2. Now, remember, when it comes to PEMDAS, the order of operations, we have division and we have subtraction. Division and multiplication will always trump addition and subtraction, but we can always kind of go back to our PEMDAS checklist. And just as a quick review, uh, we took care of all parentheses. There were no exponents or powers. Did we have multiplication and division? Indeed, we did. We saw multiplication first from left to right, so we're down to division. Remember, we have to handle all of this before we get into the addition and subtraction. So the division here is 10 divided by 2 which, of course, is 5. All right, so 10 divided by 2 is 5. And notice, I'm just writing one step at a time, okay? This is a simple problem, and some of you could do this in your brain, like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you're taking up too much time to explain this. Just get right to the problem. I could do this in uh, three steps. Listen, that's not the point. The point is to understand the mechanics, the, the process, so you can master it, so you can take on more challenging problems. All right, so 14 minus uh, the result of 10 divided by 2, excuse me, is 5. So 14 minus 5, of course, is 9. All right, so I would have to say, for someone who's been teaching math for decades and have probably uh, graded, I don't know, millions and millions of uh, homework test quizzes, well, I don't know, maybe not, not that many, but a lot. I've seen the trends, okay? I've made the mistakes 
you know, way back in the 1970s and 80s. And some people think, oh, PEMDAS, that's not a real thing. You don't have to follow PEMDAS. Listen, I got a degree in math, master's degree. It doesn't make a difference. I, I'm telling you, uh, PEMDAS is the way 90%, 99% of the world is going to understand the order of operations. If you plug this stuff in your calculator, calculator is going to effectively follow the order of operations. So, you know, uh, use these lovely little phrases like, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, or acronyms. Uh, you know, these things come in handy, okay? But the biggest thing is, um, you know, for those of you that want to relearn math, is to respect the foundations, okay? Oftentimes when people want to uh, relearn math, they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, I already know all that fraction stuff, Mr. UT Math Man, order of operations and decimals. I'm super good at that. And that's like really, really easy stuff. Teach me the calculus. I want to know the algebra, you know, and the geometry and the trigonometry. Listen, uh, let's just make sure you got the foundations uh, down you know, really, really well. Because even students at these advanced levels of math struggle with the foundations, okay? I've taught pre-calculus courses where students, uh, you know, suddenly forget how to deal with fractions. Remember, you know, you're building a skill, like a house of math skills, okay? And, and it all starts with the foundation. So uh, don't feel bad if you need to go back and review, you know, fractions, decimals, percent, positive, negative numbers, and the order of operations. Again, check out my math foundations or math uh, skill rebuilder course. You can find links to those in the description of this video. But uh, with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.